Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this TP-Link wireless N outdoor access point, the model EAP110 outdoor with Omada software and 300 megabits per second. Let's see some of the specs, centralized management, long range coverage, IP65 waterproof and dust proof, PoE adapter included, it is a durable weatherproof enclosure with outdoor Wi-Fi application, up to 300 megabits per second with a 2x2 MIMO technology, high transmission power and high gain antennas provide a long range coverage area, centralized management enables users easily manage the whole network anywhere, anytime, captive portal provides a convenient method for guest authentications, Facebook, Wi-Fi and SMS authentication helps to boost your business. Passive PoE support and simple mounting design allow for flexible deployment and convenient installation. And more we're gonna find out together as am I opening this box, install it to my network, find out uh, the range, it is maximum 200 meter, and the internet speed as much am I moving away from this uh, access point. Omada software you can download from iOS or Google Play Store and control everything from your smartphone and from your desktop, from your laptop. And we can see here the diagram, Omada software controller or Omada cloud controller OC200, goes to switch, router, internet, cloud access to Omada controller. And we can see the Omada EAP110 outdoor access point allows you to remotely take full control of Omada's networks wherever you are in the world while locally managing Omada access points with stability and security. With a cloud service, secure guest network, load balancing, client management, scheduling and of course the PoE support. Well, nice for that, let's open to see what we have inside and find out more about this product and how we can use it. And of course inside we're gonna find out some manual, instructions, everything are here. If you want to read it is your choice, but stay with me, we're gonna find out all about this product. Wow, everything included. <laughs> We've got the power cord, it is about 30 cm, nice. the two detachable and waterproof high gain antennas, the mounted bracket, we've got some screws for mounting, M3 16 self tapping screws and M320 self tapping screws. The passive PoE adapter with a mounted bracket included, pull that, you can use the two screws, mount it wherever you want, slide and lock. We've got the LAN port and the PoE port and the power connection port with an LED indicator obviously, nice, and of course last We've got the access point, slide that, we've got uh, add the cap to this holder, we can connect here the ethernet cable, we've got the reset button, everything convenient at the right place, slide and lock, watertight, no water will go inside, obviously you need to install it at this position and not at this position and let's connect and the two antennas adjustable both antennas wherever you want you can adjust them nice and of course here we've got and the system LED Everything, we're gonna find out how it works, connect it, 
and find out all the possibilities uh, for this uh, access point. Nice, overall like I can say it has a great shape, I like it. Huge antennas, neat to cover about 200 meters, they say. We're gonna find out the, and that if it is true or not. Now, the main reason that I purchased this access point is to extend the coverage outdoors on my garden. And I think that is a good choice. Well, let's make the connections. First, we need this cable. We'll go from the POE at the access point here. And that was all the connection for the access point. Closing that. And then we need the, the cable from my router. It goes at the one. And then we need to power on this uh, PoE adapter. Plug it in. We'll get an LED indicator here. LED indicator and at the access point, it is green. I have downloaded the Omada app. Okay, we've got a review later. You can connect with your TP-Link account or you can make a new account. Controller cloud access, local access and standalone APS and there it is, uh, my access point. Just tap at the access point. Set up, set a new username and password. Password. And just for the video, this week password. Next. 2.4 GHz network name. Of course, you can rename this network. Enter the password for the Wi-Fi. And again, this week password, just for the video. Next, and here we've got the device account, wireless settings, of course, all that, the password, the username, your network name, you can change it later. Confirm, apply settings, this may take a few minutes. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to your new wireless network. Okay, Wi-Fi settings, connect to my new Wi-Fi network, enter the strong password <laughs> connect and connect it let's go back again at the setup continue you can copy the password of course and here we are at the device we can see we've got the ip address mac address firmware version i have made an upgrade you need to download the newest firmware from the tp-link uh, website Hardware version, CPU utilization, memory utilization, radio, number of connected clients, channel auto, channel auto 6, and TX power, it is high. SSID, and here we can see the Wi Fi network. Uh, it is the security WPA2 personal. Client number one is connected. Upload and download. Connected clients. And here it is my Samsung, I am connected, 2.4 GHz, tap at the device. We can check the name, IP, MAC, SSDI, the band, the RSS is 48 dBm, the traffic transfer it, and the connection direction. Let's go back. We've got and the guest network. At this moment, we don't have anything. User again, and just tap at the right corner and choose IP address, MAC address, traffic, connected SSID, whatever you want. Traffic. Perfect. Let's go back. Block it clients, no one. Controller hostname IP, none. Locate. Stop locating, you can reboot and reset the device. At the settings, here we can uh, see the name, of course we can rename that. 
radio, 2.4 GHz radio, we can switch it off, switch it on, channel it is auto, 20 or 40 MHz, I think it will be wise just leave it on auto, channel auto from 1 to 13, let's leave it on auto, TX power, high, medium, low, custom, the maximum it is 20, from 5 to 20, high, let's go back, SSID, just tap, and here of course you can change the name of your 2.4 GHz network and the password, choose the security, and save. And of course you can delete uh, the network. Change device account, you can do that, username, password, confirm password. LED, you can switch off or on the LED status at the access point. Well, that was all about uh, the settings and the options from the app. Of course, by downloading the Omada software to your desktop or to your laptop, definitely you will have uh, more options and settings to adjust. I will show you on my next video. Now, I think it's time to take some uh, measurements and check my internet speed as am I moving away from this access point. The maximum, it says, is 200 meters. Well, let's find out. Now starting the test, I am 10 meters away from the access point. My internet speed is 200 megabits per second upload and download. I have run the test twice from my smartphone and from my laptop and the difference is it is about 5% more or less. And as we know, the 2.4 GHz it has the limit. Don't expect to have a 200 megabits per second download as from my main router. And the final test for the 10 meters away from the access point is 87 megabits per second download and about 69 megabits per second upload. And now I am 20 meters away from the access point and we can see the speed, it is so low. And just to know guys, there is no obstacle between the access point and my smartphone and my laptop. I can see my access point with my eyes. And the final result is 24 megabits per second the download and 32.9 the upload. Now 30 meters away, wow, and it drops more. I don't know what is going on. And it has the new firmware update. 10 megabits per second download and 16 upload. And now 40 meters away, it's so low the speed. Amazing. And it doesn't have any obstacle between them. My speed it is 200 megabits per second download upload. And I have the speed. Yeah, correct. Wow. And 11 upload, 40 meters away. And moving 50 to 60 meters away, I'm just losing my Wi-Fi connectivity. Connection lost. And they advertise this access point, it goes 200 meters maximum. Guys, I'm sorry, but I have tried from two different smartphones and from one laptop. It can be wrong. And now for the final test, I have installed the access point on my third floor and I need to have internet connection at the garden. And the distance between the garden and the third floor, it is about 10 meters. And this is the final resort, 34 uh, megabits per second download and upload 4 megabits per second. Well, I was expecting more. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was disappointed with this access point. And you have seen at my other tests how disappointed is the internet speed. And for the final test, 10 meters away, I have transferred some files from my server through this access point and you can see the maximum it is 3 megabits per second. Well guys, that was all about this video. Now you know if this product is worth to buy it or not. I have made many tests with many devices just to cover all the possibilities. Maybe one of my device is giving me a false uh, measurement. But at my three devices, uh, two smartphones and laptop, more or less it is the same result. Now on my next video, I will do a setup from my desktop with the Omada software just to see how it works with the software and what options and settings it can give us uh, this Omada software. Until then, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and done. Hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. And share this video. You never know who may need it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.